All right, welcome back, everybody. Time now. We are just eating and eating and eating today. This is um, a tough show it's for a tough show staying for our on diets. any kind of diet, but it's really good because we are making um, Comforting amazing Super Bowl food, but Italian it's Italian. Italian classic sauce and meatballs. We're coming off of yesterday's conversation about the Super Bowl, right? Mm -hmm. Nice to see you. This is Marsha Kellogg. She's a blogger. Uh, Marsha's Italian uh, cooking, peasant. Peasant cooking, is that a different type of cooking? Well, it's, it's how my grandmother grew up, okay. you know? I mean, it's, it's what... Like old style. Okay. You know, perfect. Yeah. I mean, you ate off the land and everything was fresh and everything, simple ingredients. Sounds delicious. But it tastes really, really tastes good. Tastes really, and really it's, good. That's the way we should be eating it. Well, good you know, for that's us. the way, you know, the Mediterranean diet and all these new things, clean eating, it's kind of goes back to, you know, the way. Uh, did you bring this did. pan with you? Yes, I did. Can we, uh, yeah, we're going to need another pan because this one is in convection or something like oh. that. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't, don't so worry about it. Don't worry, we'll get it up we're for you. We're going to get it for you. We have to use our special pans oh. because it's an induction oven. It doesn't like other pans. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but anyway, before we, we're, we're, don't worry because we have a supply back there. We're talking about, I don't think I've ever seen this, but I already Thanks, know that Alex. I'm going to love it. And that is, this is a, a shell that's been stuffed with a meatball, and then this is for the Super Bowl. So that's what you're going to show us how to make today. There's stuffed shells with meatballs, and then you're going to just dip them in this beautiful sauce. That's right. That's right. Well, Super Bowl, right, is like the number one party of the year. When you think about it, it really is. It's See? unbelievable how much people eat. Yes. It it's is. crazy. And it's all hand food, you know. Okay. So yeah. how do we begin? All right. So for the sauce, it's really simple, real easy, and real kid-friendly, too. Okay. And so Start with sauce. You, you, I usually put just five, it's just three ingredients, five tablespoons of butter. Okay, five. Ah. And um, a can of crushed San Marzano chips. San tomatoes. Marzano. Yeah. That's, okay. So I didn't know you put butter in there. Okay. So a simple sauce, just a can of San Marzano tomatoes crushed and mm -hmm. butter. Okay. And an onion. Half an, an onion. onion. Right. Half an onion. onion. Half. Half an onion. You just oh, plop the whole thing in like there that? like that. You do. So you're going to take because it out if later? if you cut an onion. You cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cry, but also the, the chopped onions tends to stick to the bottom of the pan. Got it. So right. what do you do when that's done? Take take it out. You take the onion out. You know, I like to just like squeeze the juice because it kind nice. of sweetens oh, it. So much easier And then easier you, too. you toss it away, and um, and then at the end, I'll uh, just you know add a sprig of of pars um, basil in it. That's and, beautiful or you too. you can use parsley. And you know what? You can put your own put your own mm. take on it. You like oregano. You like something else. You can you can um, certainly change it up any way you want. Okay. And it's okay. simple, it's easy. Um, it's even more simpler than a marmara. Right. So you've got some stuffed shells. Show us how we do that part while this is warming up. Right, so, um, well, what I'm gonna do is show you how to make the meatballs. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, this is actually my grandmother's recipe. <laughs> we have three minutes left in the segment, just oh. to give you a little heads Okay, up. I'll do it real quick. Okay, so it's a pound of um, hamburger and two links of sausage. Okay. Okay, one bowl. pound of hamburger, 85%, mm -hmm. 95%, I mean, is it better to get a little fat? Uh, whichever way, uh, you, you know, whatever, you floats whatever, your whatever floats your boat. Okay, so we're going to mix that together. You mix that together, and her, and a lot of Italians do this, you take breadcrumbs, these are, um, uh, we call them blender coarse, so this is Italian bread, like day old Italian bread. Okay. And and you just, so you see how it's not like fine, fine like those Right, it's a little chunky. It's a little chunkier, right. You just take the day old bread and literally you right. put it in a blender or something and that's it. Yeah, you pour some milk on it. Milk, uh, milk. interesting, milk. Okay. okay. I didn't know about the milk. And then what you do is you just squeeze out the milk and then put and it, it in. goes in here, and it makes them very nice and tender. Oh, it's not beautiful. Yes, it does. It, it, it's um, you know, you know, like fork tender. Yeah, those, yeah, those yeah. Balls. Okay. So you do that, and then um, an egg. Okay. One egg. Yep. You get your hands right in there, don't you? Oh yeah. Well, that's kind of the. That's kind of the, <laughs> the trick. Thing. So I mean, you stir this. It, well, yeah, you can stir it, but I'm still. I'm, there's still oh, more yeah. things. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there's. Um, Let's see, there's um, about three tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. Yum. Okay. Adds a little color, a little fresh flavor. We only have a minute left in the show, unfortunately. Okay, and three of the Parmesan. Okay. okay. And then just some salt and pepper, and that's it. And salt and pepper, it. and that, the recipe's on the screen. But I just want to get to, uh, in the last little bit, after you've gotten the meatball, we, we roll them into that, and then we're going to put one in a shell? I'll show you how to do that. Okay, please. So you take your cooked shells, yep, 
and then you fold them together oh, like look at that. that. Oh, a little topper. Okay. Right? Now, if you really wanted to gild the lily, you could put inside that meatball a little um, um, mozzarella bowl. Oh, okay. that's beautiful. Right? All right. And then you come over here. Okay. And then you just roll it in flour. Okay. Egg and breadcrumb. Egg and then breadcrumbs. And, and then you fry them. And then you fry it. You fry it. And, and that's what you're going to get is this beautiful thing here. Mm -hmm. So, oh my gosh. So, Scott, you ready to try this? I'm so ready to try okay, it. Okay, here you go. Here's the beautiful, simple sauce. All right. And here's, you just stuck it on a skewer. And there's a class, an Italian peasant uh, cooking demo and pasta class, March 16th from 6 to 9. Small batch sellers, 37, what is that, Nelton Avenue in North Haven? Right. Nettleton in, Avenue in North Haven. North Haven, Connecticut. They're um, an up and coming uh, winery, yeah. uh, urban winery. Only open six months. Great. Cheers. Yeah, this looks delicious. I'd mm. like some sauce. So delicious. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. look forward to having me.